this is where we're going to define a site in Dreamweaver CS4. So first of all, in Dreamweaver, go to Site, New Site, add a name for your store, uh, choose one that um, you'll be able to identify clearly later. Don't worry about the address cells for the moment, and then click on Next. In the next screen, choose not to use the server technologies. We're just setting up a simple site definition at the moment. Now browse to where you unzipped the e-commerce template download to. Select it, open it up, and then check the address is, is correct and click on Next. In Next, uh, we don't want a remote server at the moment, so select None and choose Next again. That's about it. Check the information that you have set up here, and finally click, click on Done. This will now create the site cache in Dreamweaver, so you'll see a list of files and folders that make up the e-commerce shopping cart software on the right-hand side there. We need to make sure that the site definition has gone well, so we're going to open up the main.dwt file you'll find in the templates folder, which is used for making global design updates. So open up here and then in design view or in code view, make a small change. This would typically be to the header section, the menu, the footer, whatever. But anyway, make the change here just to check that it's working correctly. Once you've made the change, uh, go into Dreamweaver at the top menu and save, and you should be prompted to update all the files which are based on the DWT file. Click on Update, and you'll see it work through the different files and, and folders on your site. 